For this question, we have been asked to explain one advantage and one disadvantage of using nuclear power to generate energy. The key words here for this question are advantage, disadvantage and nuclear power. We can also see that our command word is explain, which means to suggest reasons why, and that we are being awarded four marks for this question. We can therefore assume that there is two marks available for the advantage that we write and two marks available for the disadvantage. Within that, we will gain one mark for a correct statement and then an additional mark for the reason that we give that supports the statement. First of all, before I start to write my answer, I would like to recall my knowledge about nuclear power. Now, I know that this is generally a reliable source of generating energy, where steam is created to turn turbines which are connected to electrical generators which produce electricity. However, I also know that this is a non-renewable energy source as it requires uranium, which is a heavy metal that is naturally radioactive and common in the Earth's crust. I know that although accidents are rare, an unattended release of a radioactive material can cause health and environmental issues. I also know that there are strict procedures for the disposal and storage of waste as nuclear materials can stay hazardous for thousands of years. As I have been brainstorming what I know about nuclear power, I have written some notes around the question on the exam paper. I have now also highlighted the positive green and left the two negatives or disadvantages red. This has helped me to collect my thoughts ready to write my answers. So firstly, we are asked for our advantage. I need to write a statement first. From my recall, I have noted that nuclear power is a reliable source of energy. It's continuous, it's uninterrupted. So that's my first statement uninterrupted supply of energy. And now my reason is as power is produced constantly. And that's it. That's the advantage of nuclear power. We can move on now to the disadvantage. Again, I need to make a statement for my disadvantage. So in the recall earlier, I said that there are strict procedures for disposal and storage as it can be hazardous. Well, we also noted that there could be a risk of pollution in the unintended consequence of radioactive material being released into the environment. So that's my first point for the disadvantage, is that there is risk of pollution. And then I need to give the reason why. And again, this is simply due to the toxic nature of material use and the waste produced. As a final check for this question, we should make sure that we have a statement and a reason for both the advantage and disadvantage. Sometimes it's easy to have thought that we've written it, but we haven't, we've only just thought about it. So here I have ticked off my statement and reason for both the advantage and disadvantage as a little checklist to ensure that I am able to access the full amount of marks available.